Alrighty, righty, welcome back to the studio, boys and girls. We're on the last video for the Gel Blast. Oh, I still screw it up. <laughs> the Gel Blaster Basics mini series that I'm doing. Everything you need to know in order to get into the hobby and whatnot and start having fun out in your local fields or with your mates. So we're just going through all the clothing stuff. I'm way too lazy to clean this off right now because it's night and I don't really care. Like I've mentioned previously, I've had a few Pepsi Maxes, so I'm just going to chill out. The last video I'm going to go through is all about finding a game. So unlike a video game, for example, with online games, there's no matchmaker. You have to figure it out on your own. Welcome to real world, kids. However, fortunately, thanks to technology in these days, it is even simpler. So you're going to be sitting there, your blaster's ready, you're all kitted up. Where do I play? Good for you. There's plenty of Facebook groups where people get together and talk. There's even a couple of forums and whatnot. If you're still into that sort of thing and you're not interested in Facebook, those are options. Uh, good groups that you can have a look at are things like Australian Gel Blaster Enthusiasts, they're fairly large. Gelsoft Australia, which I think is run by Tack Edge, be aware of that, it's run by one of the retailers, just a heads up. Uh, you've also got the Aussie Gel Blasters and the Australian Gel Blaster community, which I think are actually in the middle of a merge, so it's going to be one uh, group soon, which is great because those groups are fairly straightforward. There's also Queensland Gel Ball Enthusiasts, there's a heap, like, there's even Central CQ Blaster Enthusiasts and whatnot. So. Have a look online, you'll be surprised. You'll probably find a group near you who does this sort of stuff. Obviously, again, if you're not in Queensland and whatnot, be careful on the legalities. I can't speak for anywhere else except Queensland because that's where I am. So be very careful on that, make sure you're not breaking any rules and getting yourself in any trouble. Keep in mind, finding those groups on Facebook, what you'll also find is pages from fields. So for example, Susan River Jobble had a game there. I'll post a link to the video of that down below in the description, in that spot. <laughs> oh, my memory's going to hell. Um, you also have places like Nuketown, Spec Ops Paintball, uh, Donnybrook, there's a heap of them. Those are just a few of the ones that are down in the southeast corner near and around Brisbane Gold Coast region, Sunshine Coast. So if you're down that region, you're spoiled for choices. There's heaps of options. Just saw a video from Tack Edge, that one they're building with Tank Ride, and that field actually looks like it'll be a lot of fun. So get in on, on it, because why not? If you're up north, there's not as much options. So like I said, I'm in central Queensland, so we've recently opened a field with CQ Blasters or Central Queensland Blasters out in Beecher, just, just west of Gladstone. So it's nice and close for me, it's convenient. Rockhampton, there are a few fields starting up. No idea on Bundaberg region. Further north, I think there is a group in Mackay and also Cairns. I'm not sure if they have any proper fields yet though. Jump online, have a look. I'm sure you'll find something. There are plenty of options. Now, what I will cover is the general rules, which it doesn't matter where you go, they're all gonna be about this, if not this. So, the easiest one, glasses. The, every field has its safe zone and its game zone. If you're in the game zone, you must have glasses on at all times, no excuses, unless there's an issue. If anyone doesn't have the glasses on, everyone has to stop. That is basically the general rule. And that's for a very good reason, it's insurance reasons and obviously safety reasons. So that's not one you really want to mess with. Engagement range is usually another one as well. Most of them are anywhere between point blank to three meters rather than shooting, call out bang, the other person should take that. Uh, obviously if they turn around and shoot you, then you're free to go and shoot them at close range too. As far as I'm concerned, that's just unsporting. But generally speaking, you're up to about the three meter mark is most uh, fields minimum engagement range just for the pure safety especially if you've got kids running around you don't want to shoot them from a meter away because they're just going to go away and be in a lot of pain it's going to ruin the sport simple as that another one you generally will find is fps limits or power limits now when we're looking at fps it's feet per second you can measure through a chronograph asking your local group i guarantee you someone has one <laughs> it's at this point it's becoming the standard thing obviously i've got one for the reviews and, and the one I was using previous to this one I've got, I was borrowing off someone else in the group. So there are usually a few around. 300 FPS seems to be the standard FPS limit for most fields. I have seen one go up to 350 for a special event. Yeah, 300 FPS is a good go. To be honest, around the 280 FPS is gold. It's fine. Most blasters can do that with minimal effort, if not standard. In the case of the, this boy, the Worlds M4. Can't wait to get my hands on a V2 version of that, see if they actually improved it or not, because it's a hard act to follow. And also, the only other ones that you've got is calling your hits. If you've watched any airsoft videos online, they're very popular when you have a cheetah video and they get instant karma because they get annihilated from close range at full order or whatever it is. Now, don't get me wrong, it's hilarious and fair enough. If you're going to be that sort of person, then that's cool. Call your hits. It's as simple as that. The reason I say it is because while it might be fun for you to go god mode for five minutes, 
every single other person is now spoiled their game. And it just ruins the sport. It gets leaves a bad taste in their mouth, all of that. It's just not worth it. And at the end of the day, what you'll find is most fields and most people don't like cheaters. <laughs> now, granted, some of these things, especially with caps on, vests and whatnot, it can sometimes be hard to tell when you get hit. The easiest rule of thumb, if someone's calling out that they've hit you, it might be that you just didn't notice. I've had gels bounce off a cap and I never felt them and I've seen it happen as well. Same thing. So don't think that they're just trying to screw with you. It could be that they're legitimately getting frustrated because you don't realize that's fair. The other one is if you're not sure if you got hit, just take it anyway. I mean, it's a game. You're going to play again. It's fine. And you're not frustrating someone who's gone to all the effort of hiding and sneaking around and now it's ruined for them because you don't know. Generally speaking, if you think you've got hit and you stop and you're like, where did I get hit? Did I get hit? They'll hit you again and it's like, okay, yeah, I got hit. That's fair. When you're shooting at someone, what I would do recommend is fire bursts because if people get hit multiple times, they recognize that they've been hit. It's and If they don't call it then, then they're going out of their way generally. So that's the easiest way to do it. That's why rate of fire and just putting burst down range rather than single shots is the most uh, effective cap uh, tactic to use. Simple for that reason. Now, that's about all I've got. I've, that's pretty much everything. If you've watched all four of these videos, then you're pretty well ready to go out and start blasting your friends in the faces because that's why we play, let's face facts. Now, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, if you've got any thoughts, any comments, uh, any fields that you play or you're looking to start up groups or whatnot, comment down below, share the video around, especially if you're having trouble finding something, you never know. You'd be astounded at how many people are actually involved in it, it's just not public knowledge because it is still very much a growing niche hobby and sport. Uh, yeah, and let me know what you think below. Of, did you enjoy the videos? Did these videos help you at all? Did they get you involved? Did they get you hyped in it? That's what I want to know. If I get more people excited to play, I'm happy. I've achieved what I wanted. Other than that, there will be a couple of minor changes coming to the channel soon. I'm hoping to get a couple of reviews up soon as well because that's really, really annoying me, as well as more gameplay videos. Let me know what you think. I've got a couple of friends now who have finally invested in GoPro, so I'm hoping to get some more multi-angle or multi-person gameplay videos because teamwork is awesome. When it works great, the team does work. Anyway, good luck, happy blasting, and I'll catch you next time.